Hello, welcome back, Nick Lenz's Novel Reviews. This is just episode 14. No double shot, no triple shot, just one book. Star Trek Seekers, book four. All That's Left by Dayton Ward and Kevin Delmore. This book, according to the historians, though, because I know so I know it's in here. Uh, here we go. Takes place in late 2269, a few months after... The second book, Point of Divergence, and five months after Turn of Intruder. So, there is a possible theory that this book takes place in August. August or November of 2365. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Um, the story is basically that the Endeavor, which is a Constitution-class starship, um... Basically, it's 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 his, it's his turn. Basically, for its main focus of the story, the, its story, because next book is the way the series works is that uh, the even numbers are basically the the Sturgis and the e, that, that's the odd number. The even number is um, the Endeavor, and the story is about this planet called the Central Five, and they discover like a spaceship in orbit, and they get in contact with it, and then they get possessed by these strange parasites which are these look like strange circles in the back of their necks when i read that I was like is this book trying to rip off a next generation episode or is this book basically did, did the writers of this book just look at conspiracy and just oh oh that'd be a good idea for a book they just shove it in here um unlike the Sturgis, which is commanded by the awesome captain captain terrell this one is commanded by Atasha Katamai, I think I'd say pronounce this captain's name. And this is something quite unusual for a Star Trek original series. You see, the captain of the Endeavor is a woman. Yep, something... Now, if you watch the original series, they had a sexism. There was this thing where in, in this particular period of time, and this is explained to our intruder... That apparently, women are now allowed to be starship captains. Why? Never explained. In the entire series. My theory is because of the 60s sexism at the time. So, Gene Rottenberry decided to have that incorporated in the show. Luckily enough, after the show ended, basically, that, um, that the novel simply ignored that sexism. My guess is, is that maybe there was an edict passed, maybe 20 years prior to the events of this particular story, said that there can't be any female starship captains, for some reason, it's never explained why, and I think the first officer of this ship is, I think it's also a woman as well, which is also unusual. Now, here's something I should call out in the original series on this. They say women can't be starship captains, and yet 100 years prior... There was female starship captains. As a matter of fact, there were two noteworthy ones. You have Captain Erica Hernandez of the of the USS Columbia, which is the second annex ship, and to Paul, being commander of the USS I think it's the Endeavor, the which is a Columbia class ship. Yeah. So I call bullcrap on no feet no women can be starship captains, despite the fact history has shown, yes, there has been female starship captains. And I think that the, re, the re, J.J. Reboot movie has actually gotten rid of that. Thank you, J.J. Abrams, for getting rid of that little stupid little sexism. Anyways, this book is okay. Um, unlike the previous few books that actually been really good, this one is just okay. It feels like almost like a ripoff of Invasion of Body Snatchers. And people are like, they don't want to be review removed. And... Kind of similar to the symbiotic relation between the with the trills, it's just okay. the 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 story itself is just okay, but I like how the characters the characters written be perfectly fine, be reasonable. But the species they counter are just very boring villains, and it's just okay. That's just the point of view of it. This is probably the first Star Trek book I had read where the book was just okay when I was finished with it. A majority of Star Trek books I usually normally read are usually really good and well written. This one, it's like, 
Okay, so let's just follow a really awesome story with a really okay story. I'm hoping book five be better whenever they do come up with book five. I don't think that um, the title of All That's Left, I don't think this is the final book of the series, especially since there's plenty more story to tell with this crew. I'm just thinking, though, that um, that they should just not do the whole Invasion of Body Snatcher thing. That I didn't have a problem with them using Endeavor Crew. They did it for book two when they introduced, when they brought it back into the series. But the whole point of the Seeker series is that it's a continuation of the uh, Vanguard series, but it focuses on two of its support ships because the Vanguard station was destroyed at the end of the, the in, in the uh, in the final book of the series. Now that that whole series took place in the period of about five years, and it had two commanders. One was a commodore, and one was an admiral. This one is just two starships, and they're exploring a terrorist reach, which does um, have plenty of story opportunity. But there is a small problem. The previous, the previous few books have actually sort of referenced the preservers, and that's sort of been a driving force of the series. But it's been like not very in-your-face about it, but it's sort of a driving force of the story. This one, it just felt like, Monster. It felt like a, a average generic villain of the week from the original series that sometimes it would occasionally have. Like it, it's like they made the villains sort of based on some of the more boring villains from the original series. But it's still an okay novel. It's well written. I'm not gonna call it a horrible novel. It's not horrible. It's just okay. That's my gist of it. It's and it's still reasonably length for a Star Trek for. A novel for the series, it's only 369 pages long. So I do recommend this definitely for Star Trek fans, but you can be kind of disappointed with this book. But it's not all disappointment. It's still got some interesting action. Um, I mean, the cover is actually done really well, and this does happen in the novel. Um, it's just that it just it's just okay. So I get this novel, a, I get this book a... I want to be fair, so I'm going to give us uh, give us 7.75 out of 10. Even though it's a bit lower than I usually get book you know, books of Star Trek caliber, but this is just okay. <sighs> All right, stay tuned for the next episode, which should be episode 15. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do for that one yet, but until then, see you there. Bye.